Today we will discuss the structure of the GABA receptors and the drugs acting on the GABA receptors and the mechanism of action of these drugs. So the GABA receptors. GABA receptors are of generally two types, GABA A and GABA B. GABA A is a type of inotropic receptor, whereas GABA B is a type of metabotropic or the G protein coupled receptor. Here we will focus on GABA A receptor. Let's see the structure of the GABA A receptor. There are two views. First one is the front view and second one is the top view of the receptor. Coming to the front view where the GABA receptor is a pentameric, it consists of five subunits which are arranged partly extracellularly and partly intracellularly and these five subunits are two alpha subunits, two beta subunits and one gamma subunit arranged around a center pore. Now let's look at the receptor from the top view which consists of a central chloride pore and the two drug binding sites The first one is benzodiazepine binding site and second one is barbiturate binding site. This one is the central chloride pole. So these are the two alpha subunits and these are the two beta subunits and this is one uh, gamma subunit. So this two alpha, two beta and one gamma subunit is analogous to the same in the front view. In between the alpha and beta subunit is the barbiturate binding site seen here on this front view whereas in between the alpha and gamma is the benzodiazepine binding site or BZD allosteric site. The next part to be discussed here is the mechanism of action of this GABA receptor. The basic step involved in the act activation of the GABA receptor is binding of the ligand or the drug to the GABA site or the benzodiazepine site. Due to this binding, the central chloride pore opens up and causes the influx of chloride ions, which further causes inhibition of the neuron by creating a state of hyperpolarization in the neuron. Let's see some drugs which act on the GABA receptor. The first of all is the gamma amino butyric acid or GABA. This drug is basically an uh, endogenous agonist of the GABA receptor and it is released as the various sites in the CNS and it acts on the GABA site and causes some sequence of events. Now the second class of the drug to be discussed are grouped under as positive allosteric modulator these drugs bind to the benzodiazepine binding site and cause same chain of the events now in this category the drugs acting are that is number one benzodiazepines that is Dizepam, Conazepam, Halazepam. The second category, they are the, that is the barbiturates, that is uh, thiopental, etc. And the third category, that is the drugs are the muscle relaxants, that is thiocolchicocytes. And uh, some also uh, that alcohol acts on this site, and some uh, other allosteric drugs like uh, propofol and uh, etomidate etc. Now the third important category of the drugs are negative allosteric modulators such as uh, fumazenil 
which belongs to a negative allosteric modulator of benzodiazepine site and uh, this drug is given in benzodiazepine overdose now let's look at the effects of activation of the gaba receptor the various drugs which act on this receptor produce various effects some of which are anxiolytics some are anti convulsions effect some are sedative hypnotic effect some causes amnesia and uh, some muscle relaxant so this is a very short review of the gaba receptors their function and the drugs acting hope this video will be helpful for you kindly share with your friends some more videos are available on my youtube channel the link for the youtube channel is 